what is the encyclopedic gear set and why is it special? What's it do? Okay, so it's got all the gears from 12 to 30, uh, at least two copies of each. There's a G gear and a T gear, and they're identical except the T has all the penholes aligned with the gear tooth, and the G version has all the penholes aligned with the gap. And so this is useful for a bunch of things. You can do a lot of neat things with this. Oh, lemon, all right. The primary one that I'll talk about first, because it's what inspired me to initially make these, is if you are doing a compound design with a 48, and we'll just bring the camera even lower, here we go, zooming right in, I'm chasing off Lemon, maybe, we'll see. All right, Lemon, it's good. Okay, so let's, let's use these 30s I've taken out. Here we go, so we've got a 30. Oh, do I have short enough pins to get under here? Okay, let's find out. So we're going to mark here a little bit and we're just gonna use, oh, no, oh, cat, you can't, you can't rub your face on the camera, okay gonna use this. Oh, that's my background. Oh, I am all scattered today. Paper. Here we go. Swishy angry cat tail. I mean, that's fair. That was rude. All right. Now we get my hand right in the way and we do the design, but seeing the design done. Okay, so that you can see we're using the tooth of this gear in the gap of this Thing. And so say we wanted to go around and do a gear gear design around it. So we put a 48 gear in there and we hold this still. And now we bring this 30 back. But if we want to align it perfectly, there's now a, this one. There's a tooth in the way of this alignment because we're in the gap of the ring, the gear, of course, has the corresponding tooth. So we could either shift half a tooth over and do it. That would work just fine, but if you looked really close, you would see the imperfection. Or you can take this piece and you can be like, okay, I used that one. What was a tooth is now a gap, so I can slide it into this tooth. And then we've got identical positioning. And we go around. And you don't have to use matching gears, um, but this is how you can get alignment between elements that are gear gear and elements that are gear in a ring or a hoop. Otherwise, they'll always be offset by that half gear tooth gap problem. Okay, I'm gonna take this out, and you can see it's just perfectly aligned. Um, and that is one, one key feature that you can do a lot with with the encyclopedic gear set. Um, another option is to just get even more density. So if we come back down to this 48 here, and we put the, I mean, let's just keep using that same pen hole. And so we've got, we'll start with the tooth. So that's where we started last time. We're starting at this spot again. And here we go. And I'm using the one A pen hole now, just cause that's the one I aligned it with. It'll be a little bit more petally. And then we come over here with the gap and we can't align, so we have to go a half over. And uh, now you can do half step offsets of a design, which is closer than you can get, or you can just keep layering them on. If we go one step over, see, you can get more density because previously you could have only, you know, moved around by one step, whereas with T and G gears, you can move around by a half step. Um, and I think that looks really great. Uh, so these are two fun uses for the T and G gears. And if you're having trouble remembering, uh, oh, the lighting on this is terrible. Take away that white paper. You can see on the bottom of the frame, T is tooth aligned penholes and G is gap aligned penholes and there's just a whole bunch of gears. All these gears also have small penholes. These are your standard three millimeter ones. They work with most pens. 
uh, you need a really chunky pen that won't fit in there. Um, whereas these are the tiny pen holes, they're about a millimeter, somewhere between a millimeter and a millimeter and a half in diameter, and you need pens like this with a pointy metal barrel to work in here. Um, and they go through, but like a regular pencil or a ballpoint pen just can't, it's, it's way too big. And these just let you get more pen holes per space. Also, the Encyclopedic Gear set has only very small gears, so this was a way to fit more pen holes per gear. Um, and that's the Encyclopedic Gear set.